Hello all. So, did you know that animal agriculture produces more CO2 than all the cars, buses, and trucks planet-wide? Probably about three times more. So, if you want to reduce your CO2 footprint, one way is to reduce or eliminate meat, eggs, and dairy because all those things cause loads and loads of co2 in our atmosphere very warm today so lots of people out so 21 species are declared extinct by the u.s fish and wildlife service they said conserving all species before it's too late so it's important that we uh we conserve whatever we can before we lose everything so many people out i can't get anywhere The agency said it had conducted rigorous reviews of the best available science and determined that the animal species are no longer in existence. These plants and animals can never be brought back. Human exploitation of wildlife and their resulting spread of invasive species was directly linked to the, sp the species loss. Eight types of the Hawaiian honeycreeper bird species are among the extinct animals after their forest habitat was raised by development and agriculture. So the more animals we displace by putting homes, buildings, and agriculture where wildlife used to be means more species lost. Now, several other native Hawaiian birds are on the brink, including the Akaiakaia, Akaia, which is down to as few as five pairs in the wild because climate change is allowing mosquitoes to reach further up into the mountains, which is their habitat. And uh, the mosquitoes end up giving the birds diseases and just drives them crazy, so they end up dead. As we celebrate 50 years, of the Endangered Species Act here in the U.S. This year we are reminded of the act's purpose to be a safe safety net that stops the journey towards extinction of all animals and plants. It's not too late to stop more plants and animals from going extinct, but we have to act fast. It seems like that's kind of the theme that we're getting all over the planet, is we have to act fast. We have to stop spreading our CO2 all over in the atmosphere, and we have to stop building more homes, more homes. You know, the single family home thing is, is un, it's just not responsible for this planet. Our planet can not handle single-family homes with one or two people living in them. The thing that, that the planet will absorb, tall apartment buildings and that sort of thing, condos, which uh, have multiple people living on top of each other, which means you take up less and less footprint on the land. Also, development in pre-used areas is definitely the way to go. So if you have a blighted area in your city, it's best to uh, remodel that and uh, move into that, those areas instead of spreading ever endlessly out into the countryside with new homes, new homes, and killing off uh, more and more animals and plants. But as they say, we have to move quickly. And remember, every one of us can do something about climate change and wrecking the planet if we choose to, whether it means that we stop eating dairy, meat, and eggs, or that we stop driving so much, or whatever it is that we're doing to uh, hurt the planet. So today is supposed to be hotter than yesterday, and yesterday was a boiler. It was really hot here in San Francisco and around the Bay Area, and today we're supposed to possibly even break records. So hopefully by the weekend it's supposed to cool off and maybe even have some light showers around the Bay Area. But then after that, it's supposed to heat right back up again. So who knows when winter or fall will ever get here to California. We ask this every year as fall becomes further and further towards winter. And then winter is shorter and shorter each year. And spring starts up earlier and earlier. I appreciate all the comments, the ups, and your new subscribers. Until next time. Thank you.